Many, many years ago, on the outskirts of Grafton, there lived a very rich family for those times by the name of Alts. There were only three of them, Mr. and Mrs. Jim Alts, and their daughter Anna. They seemed to be very blessed with everything, except for health for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Alts took her to every doctor, far and near, but no cure could be found for her illness. One cold, wintry night in early December, the girl seemed to make a sudden recovery. She got up out of bed and walked that night, and this was something that she had never been able to do. But now the girl seemed to be a different person. She was in some kind of trance. She got up from her bed, she walked to the door, and went out onto the new fallen snow. She walked down through the yard and out to a rose bush she had always admired from her window in the spring and summer. Suddenly, she collapsed and died instantly beside it with her hands resting near the base of the bush. From that time on, the rose bush bloomed all year round. Even in midwinter, you could see beautiful red roses peeping through the snow. Several years later, the Alts family moved from the house and decided to take the rose bush with them because it had been so dear to their daughter. They planted the bush in their new yard but it failed to bloom that spring and summer. The Alts feared that it had died. That very December, on the anniversary of their daughter's death, there was a light sifting snow that covered the ground. When Mr. and Mrs. Alts awoke the next morning, the rose bush had disappeared, and footprints led away from the spot where it had stood. The footprints led straight to the cemetery and stopped right in front of the daughter's grave. There on the grave stood the rose bush its red roses looking more beautiful than ever.